Hey, so I get a ton of questions about Brussels sprouts. Kevin, how do you make Brussels sprouts taste good? It's really, really easy, but there's a few things you're probably messing up at home. So for good Brussels sprouts, you really only need five things. Brussels sprouts, salt, lemon, extra virgin olive oil, and a nice big pan. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna drop you guys a little nugget of love. If you want one of these bottles and you wanna get it online, use the code KEV35E on cobramestate.com slash shop for 35% off this range of bottle. So, let's get started. I normally like to pick uh, medium-sized Brussels sprouts. I like to save the bigger ones for shaving and for raw salads. Uh, these guys are just way too small, but the medium-sized ones are perfect. And to prep these, we're simply just going to quarter them. That's it, no blanching, no shaving, no trimming, no pulling away the outer leaves. If you do have a little bit of this stuff at the bottom, feel free to trim that up a little bit, but unless it's brown and nasty looking, you don't really need to. So quarter all your Brussels sprouts to start. Okay, Brussels sprouts are quartered and cut up. We've got a pan on the stove. It's getting ripping hot. It's very important that your pan gets very, 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 very hot. Luckily, this stuff has a high smoke point, contrary to popular belief, so don't worry, you're not gonna set your house on fire. You wanna have a big pan, because the goal is to have one layer of Brussels sprouts on top of the pan cooking. If you have them stacked, you're not gonna get enough caramelization, you're not gonna get enough color, and they're not gonna be delicious. So, very hot pan, and about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. It may seem like a lot, but what's gonna happen is all these layers in the Brussels sprouts are actually gonna soak up that oil, and you kind of want them to shallow fry a little bit. So just before this pan starts to smoke, that oil is going to be dancing around in the pan. It's going to move really easily. And you're going to see how hot it is, probably smell it. I'm going to take our Brussels sprouts and carefully, carefully, carefully transfer them to the pan. I know it's hot, and what a lot of people do wrong is they're afraid of it, and they drop it from up here, and then they splash oil all over the place and get bad burns. I'm going to just get really close to the pan. Okay, so make sure you've got one even layer. Again, we don't want them stacked because they're not gonna cook evenly. We want them to get a lot of caramelization. That's what tastes good on a nice Brussels sprout is that nice caramelization. Now, once these are in the pan, walk away, step away. Don't shake the pan, don't stir it, don't toss it, don't do anything crazy because what happened is that pan was nice and hot and then we dumped cold Brussels sprouts into it and the temperature of the pan drops substantially, right? So we want that temperature to come back up so we can get nice caramelization. Remember, caramelization equals deliciousness. So put the Brussels sprouts in the pan, go pour yourself a drink, go cook your salmon, go yell at your kids, go do whatever you're gonna do. Don't shake it, don't stir it. Seriously, walk away from it for like a minute. Okay, so you walk away and now you come back, it's been about a minute and these Brussels sprouts have been cooking. What we can now do, if you're using a cast iron pan especially, Turn that heat down to about medium, and then take a look in here. Rather than taking the pan and shaking it around, that's gonna take it off of the heat, right? Use a spoon and stir it. So this pan stays right on the heat. All right, so the Brussels sprouts are evenly caramelized. They're like almost a tick away from being burnt, and that's where we want them. We wanna take them really far and get that nice, deep, golden brown caramelization. Season heavily with a bit of salt. Kill the heat. And then dead last is lemon juice. It's about the juice of a one lemon for this many Brussels sprouts. Toss that together and that's it. 